All right, our next reader is, he gets our long distance prize for this evening. Uh, coming all the way from Kingston, and that's a huge thank you. <laughs> and Bob is going to read for us tonight, I Would Photograph You. Please welcome Bob McKenzie. Okay, that's good. I can see you now. Uh, the American painter Andrew Wyeth did a sort of famous painting called Christina's World. Um, what it looks like is there's a vast space, sort of a hillside with grain, and at the top there's an um, old, not very well kept house and an old gray, ba gray barn. And at the bottom there's a crippled girl. This is Christina. And she's looking up toward the houses. She's, she's laying, she, she has to crawl, she can't walk because she has polio. And she's laying there with her arm outstretched toward the house. And if you think about this painting, it can be very dark. Uh, and, and yeah, but I, I, I've never, I, I always know the name, I always forget it. Because I always think of it as Christina's dream. And, and I see, other happier things happening with the dream than with her world as seen by Wyeth. I, I, I can see that she's not held back from the house by the space, but that she's moving toward it. And so I, I wrote a series of three poems based on that painting, and this is the middle one. I would photograph you. I would photograph you in just that way. You reclining among the wind-blown grain, the sun winnowing its light through your hair, your cotton summer dress soft in its light. You would be resting there in the sunlight, gazing up the hill at that warm farm home, inviting you to come when you're ready, like that shining city you see in dreams. I would add color to this photograph clover perhaps, or daisies in the breeze, and bright paint on that old gray house and barn, and add a bright print to your cotton dress. I would photograph you in just that way, lit by sunlit light in a world of flowers where songbirds sing and the sun seeks you out, but most of all, I would photograph you. Mm. Thank you.